Are you great at what you do? You run a great business, you're an expert in your field. Me, I'm a video producer, I'm great at that, and I'm not good at sales. Sales is not something I've been taught. And the thing is these days, if you don't know how to sell, your business isn't going to grow. Now I'm really lucky because I'm here with Bruce King, who is a, a master sales trainer, yeah? Or something like that. Go on, tell me who you are. Tell me who you are and what you do, because you're here to give us a little bit of advice on... I certainly am, Neil. Yeah. yeah. What do I do? Um, I'm Bruce King. I have written several best-selling books on sales, marketing, and personal growth strategies, some of which, three of which, have become international bestsellers. We are not worthy. I tell you, we are not worthy. <laughs> uh, I speak at conferences and deliver master classes, sales master classes, in all oh, 12, 13 different countries. Mm -hmm. uh, and I coach SMEs, small businesses. My aim is to help companies and individuals to double their sales or double their profits or both. <laughs> okay, I want some of that. So I'd like to double my profits, certainly. I would like my sales to go up maybe, I don't know, 50% and I want my profits to double. W what can you say to help me there? What, what, okay, what, but what? I think you mentioned that you don't like selling. No. So let's give you five simple steps mm -hmm. that don't really involve selling at all. Okay. But if you put all five into action, mm -hmm. you would unquestionably double your profits. Okay. But take them one at a time, because a lot of my clients that I consult to have doubled their profits just with one step. So that sounds great, because I can double them, and then the second step I'll double again, and then... Not yeah. necessarily. Oh, okay. It doesn't necessarily right, well, look okay. quite like that. But so let's take you through step the five steps. One, yeah. Step number one. You have got to look after your most profitable customers. Okay. They're probably the ones that are keeping you in business. And what tends to happen is that we don't, we, we complacency sometimes sets in and we don't look after them quite as well as we could or we should. Okay. And remember, your competitors are already, or, or they're already possibly in contact with them, um, or they're going to get in contact with them. So when you say look after my most profitable clients, I've got some clients that do a little bit of repeat business for me, and the repeat business, do you know what, actually, it's great earnings for me because I don't have to go looking for them, um, and actually the profit margins are greater because I've got everything set up for them and I just repeat what I'm doing. Is that what you mean? No, I mean, oh, okay. I mean the people who are giving you the most profitable business, okay. yes, maybe that is them. Okay. The most important thing is not to, not to get complacent. They could go elsewhere. Mm -hmm. They could be approached by somebody and they could decide they'll give someone else a try. So what you need to do is make absolutely certain that you are actually giving them 100%, that you're you're delivering better value mm -hmm. than anybody else would, which doesn't cost you very much. So, so can I ask you a question on that? Are they people that I'm already working with, or is it a type of customer that gives me the most profit? And when I find those, I look after them Both. 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 But we're okay. talking about your existing customer right, base right customer. now. Step one is look after, look after really well okay. your most profitable customers. Go the extra mile, okay. because it's not difficult to go the extra mile, and it's not a very crowded place. Okay. Now step two. Now step two, yeah. At any one time, at least 30% of your customers could be doing more business with you. At least 30%. Okay. And you need to look at precisely what it is they are currently buying from you. You need to look very carefully at what else they could be buying from you. Uh -huh. And then go present that to them, sell it to them, and pick up that low-hanging fruit. Because that's very easy business. So, for example, in my business, I teach people how to do their own filming. So I've had customers, clients, who have been on my workshops. They've done a workshop, they've got great value from it, they've gone away happy, and now I can be selling 30% more to them. Yes. So I need to come up with something that is of value to them, 
that because they're already warm to me, it will be easier for me to say, yeah. And maybe in your case, and you know, I don't know your business as well as you do, mm -hmm. but maybe in your case it's something like, um, well, they, they've learned how to make their own videos, but when you've looked at them on YouTube or wherever they put them, they're not as hot as they could be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you could go back to them with some suggestions yeah. and say, you know, how about if I do some of this yeah. for you and yeah. I do a bit of that for you? And that's 30% more business for you. Great. Got it. Step number two, 30% more business. Out of existing or past clients. Okay, step number three. Step number three. Get rid of the profit poisoners. <laughs> What do you mean by that? I mean that there are people that you are doing business with mm -hmm. and it's costing you money, not making you money. Um, they're, they're the people who are just not profitable. And it's, you probably already know them. They're the people who you don't really want to take a phone call from and you certainly don't want to go and visit. Mm -hmm. But they're on the phone to you frequently, they're draining your profits. And what they're doing, they're trying to push me for a lower and lower price. I know there's a couple in my mind right away who say, oh Neil, yeah, I really want to do that, but can you just do it for a little, you know, a little bit less, a little bit? And I know that if I do it for a little bit less, they still ask for more. So yeah, now I've got those people right in my mind right So away. if you can't find a way to make them profitable, mm -hmm. graciously get rid of them. Some of my clients have increased their profits by over 95% by getting rid of their loss-making customers and replacing them with people that they make a profit with. That makes that's complete logic. It can, makes complete sense. And, and, and as a business owner, I guess I'm so busy at, I just want to get on and do the work, I don't actually look at the figures sometimes. So actually, this is a great wake-up call. Sit down, work out who's creating you the profit who isn't who's yeah. wasting your time and prune good old prune yeah the good old prune so um, you've got the low-hanging fruit at one end yeah and the pruning you know, at the, the other, other end, end. yeah <laughs> <laughs> that should be in the gardening business not yeah. the video business okay fantastic that's three things um, number four number four number four you've lost some clients okay get them back okay find out don't ever email people in that category. You phone them, mm -hmm. better still go visit them, mm -hmm. find out why they left you. Um, and it's usually not price. Okay. It's usually something else as well. And make friends with them. Um, warm up the relationship mm -hmm. again, if necessary, um, make them a really great offer to come back again. Mm -hmm. Get back your old good clients who have left. It's not so difficult. It's interesting you say that because I had a client that um, I taught them how to make the videos. I'd done 10 for them. They did another edit pack because I get people to send me the footage and they edit. Um, and then it went cold. And so I actually picked up the phone and said, how's it going? Because I noticed your last video wasn't sounding good. Should I pop in and just check you're doing things OK? I popped in. They had a problem with the microphone, which I sorted out straight away. We shot a couple of extra videos while I was there. I was only there for an hour. And then she, a couple of weeks later, said, let's do 10 more videos. So, yeah, I get what you're saying. It's just, I've already got another client in mind that I'm going to pick up the phone to and say, oh, I just happened to be in uh, North Hampstead um, in a couple of days' time. It'd be lovely to pop in and say hello, see how you're doing. Yeah, yeah. thank you for that. Yeah, okay. Number five, I've got Number five, some of your clients, customers maybe, some of them have gone quiet. Uh -huh. You don't know if they've gone yet, but they're very quiet. They haven't ordered, they haven't done anything with you. Maybe they're testing out the competition. Maybe they're giving some work to somebody else. Uh -huh. You need to make contact with them again, not by email, pick up the telephone, Go and see them and find out why they've gone quiet and how you can warm their business up again. Fantastic. So none of these things, Neil, none yeah. of these things are going out and selling to new people. No, they're not. You can double your profits. Every okay. one of your clients that may be watching this video, they can double their profits just by doing those five simple steps. And they're simple. 
They are simple. You just have to do it. They just <laughs> have to do it, which is really interesting because this is what the, the next video is going to be about. Because one of the things I struggle is picking up the phone and making those phone calls. So if you struggle with that, because I know a lot of people do, and you need to reconnect with old clients or you want to talk with new clients, then what you need to do, because this video, we're giving it to you. It's free, the expertise. You know what Bruce can tell you about. I mean, he's smart, he knows his stuff. And we've got more videos on how you can increase your sales. And the next one is all going to be all about picking up that phone and making those phone calls, even though maybe it's a little bit tricky. So if you want to get that video and other videos from us, just pop your name. There's a box somewhere. Just put your name and your email address in. You will get sent the videos as they come out. So. How's that sound? That's going to be great. And we're going to do more stuff like this in, in future videos. We yeah. are. Thank you, Bruce. It's been really, really enlightening. I'm looking forward to some more of your wisdom and, and sharing it with uh, you guys out there. Thank you, Neil. Thank you.